senior season. But after my senior season, there were still two problems. I wasn't qualified in order to get into college, and I hadn't passed my Georgia high school graduation test. And so college scouts would come in and see me, and they would say, son, you are extremely talented, but we're not talking about college here. We're talking about you making it out of high school. And I would say, just offer me the scholarship. I am doing what I have to do in order to make it. I will make it. Just offer me the scholarship. They would say, nah, we can't make that type of investment. And so a couple of smaller schools came along and offered me, but I felt I was Division I talent. And so I will never forget the day that a scout from Georgia Tech University set up a meeting with me, my mother, and my father, and he discovered me on accident during a basketball game. When we were playing against Carver Atlanta, and Carver Atlanta had this kid that was 6'7", by the name of Taj McCullough. And their coach thought it was a brilliant idea to put Taj on me the whole game. And so I destroyed him. I scored 40 points against him. And the thing about coaches... You know, when they're recruiting, they see a good point guard as a great cornerback. And so they said, why don't we know about this guy? And so they set up the meeting, and all the while, I'm thinking to myself, I said, man, if I get the opportunity to go to Georgia Tech University, I'm from inner city Atlanta, Georgia Tech is downtown Atlanta, my grandmother would get to see me play. I said, my family would get to see me play, my friends would get to see me play. This is going to be awesome. And so during the meeting, he had my transcripts and he had the qualifications that it took to get into Georgia Tech University. And so he was going back and forth on the papers, and he looked up and he looked at my father. And he shifted and he looked at my mother. And he shifted and he looked at me and he stood up. And he said, son, there is no way that you will make it. And he walked out. It was total disrespect to my father. It was total disrespect to my mother. It was total disrespect to anybody that ever believed in Inky Johnson, to anybody that ever saw something in me when I didn't see it in myself that propelled me to be the man that I am right now today. So I stood up right behind him. I looked at my father. I looked at my mother. I said, I will make it. Your hard work will not go in vain. But let me show you how God works. The next week at Crum High School, me and all the seniors were in a classroom. And to the front of the room walked my head coach, Darren Miles. And to the left of him stood Coach Philip Fullman from the University of Tennessee. And so my coach is happy, right? And he's proud, and he got his chest out. 